fishing today too. Something a little different and look who's here. Better late than never. It's okay. It doesn't really bother me if people are late. No big deal. <laughs> but yeah, we're doing a fishing tournament in Jamaica. So we're going to practice some fishing. Hopefully we catch something. When I get bored doing that, I'm going to go back to fishing, which I know I'll shoot something. So stay with us. Hopefully it's a great day. I went to Big Dog Tackle and they were nice enough to help me rig up my fishing poles because one was kind of a big mess. They said the line was wrapped behind it and I don't know who did that. It wasn't me. If it was you, you owe me like $7. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go out. Hopefully we catch a fish on Rod and Reel. All right, so we wanted to go out and hit the wrecks first, but it looks like there's some sport fishing boats out there. Um, we got a report that there are some wahoos. Um, we don't have any topwater lures or planers or I don't know what I'm talking about. Any of that shit for wahoos and sailfish and whatnot. But yeah, so we're going to bottom fish and hopefully get some grouper, hopefully get some snappers, maybe some mutton snapper. Honestly, if I catch anything, I'm happy. Um, but yeah, there are other boats already on the wreck. So first we're going to check out this reef. I used my strike lines charts to find this ridge here and we're going to drop down some squid and hopefully catch something and I'm going to be happy. <laughs> Remember what this one is called? It's not an eating fish. I don't know where my glove is. So hopefully he's gentle with me. Fishy, fishy, fishy. We are successful. In the third first three minutes of fishing, we caught a fish. <laughs> so, go for you, little guy. We probably could have used him for bait. Maybe if we catch another little one, we'll use it for bait for a bigger fish. <laughs> All right, you don't have to record that. Okay. 
We started out with a little bait, we got a little fish. Now, we use this here, a big bait. Catch ourselves a big fish. Oh, I think we might have just gone like right over the spot, but let's just check it out. Oh, we might get some stuff in the water column, let's see. Yeah. 
Alright, so I just dropped the weight down and we can see fish here like in the water column. And instantly, all my shit was gone. And it looks like either a mackerel or a wahoo just took everything, like blasted straight through the line, like, I mean, cut it off clean. We lost the weight, we lost the bait, we lost the hook. We lost everything, like whatever that was, like just smashed us. So I'm gonna attempt to re-rig this. And we've got one more pull here, so hopefully we catch something with that for right now. Dude, that's crazy. Those fish have like super sharp teeth and like they'll just go and just cut straight through it. saw something big in the water. I asked if it was a shark. She said she wasn't sure. Um, but as soon as we dropped the other line down, something like literally, I, I think it actually just smashed the weight, like these big lug weights that we have. I think it hit the weight rather than the bait and cut straight through our line instantly. Like no tension. I don't know if it was a shark. Like I said, we heard there were wahoo out here. It could have been a mackerel, but I don't know. That's why I like spear fishing, you know? It's like, then I know what happened. <laughs> With this, there's so much mystery. And then also, I'm not sure if this girl's really my friend because she immediately said that I should jump in and <laughs> take a look <laughs> after something just ate straight through all of my equipment. <laughs> Let's uh, drop this one down. I don't see anything big yet. Fisherwoman! <laughs> and just don't let go of the pole. <laughs> they are jellyfish. That's some, I don't know, seaweed. We might have drifted off the spot a little bit. If you don't get a bite, are you getting a bite or no? You'll feel it if you do. Yeah, we're marking fish higher in the water column still. I saw like a file fish. Hmm. Did you think you were gonna be a YouTube star today? <laughs> okay, I'm started. All right, so we took a couple drops of the fishing pole. It was fun, we got broke off by something. I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that maybe there's another big kingfish or maybe there's that wahoo. Um, there's a boat coming in that said they saw a sailfish right out here this morning. Uh, I don't know, we've been marking big fish in the water column, and I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> jellyfish off. Um, I know like the other girls will like, it actually helps keep my belt from sliding around a lot too. I like the material, it's kind of rubbery so it really keeps everything in place.
All right, let's get loaded. I want to be ready if there's a big wahoo or a mackerel nearby. Here you can see that I checked the drag on my spear gun. It's similar to a fishing reel. I like to make it looser whenever I'm diving deeper. This way I can manually make it looser or tighter, adjusting my grip on the gun, depending on the size of fish that I shoot. It looks like there's a lot of bait here, so usually that's a good sign. Well, this isn't the fish I was looking for, but these guys are so cool. I used to think it was a really fancy trigger fish, but it's actually a species of file fish. Once I got done messing with this little guy, I noticed something interesting. A brand new anchor. I guess you could say we found treasure today. I always say that what I lack in skill, I make up for in determination, so I decided to give fishing one more try. All right, that's enough fishing for me today. Let's get back to spear fishing. That's a nice black grouper right there. Unfortunately, I think he's still a little bit too small though. This hogfish looks a little too small as well. I don't shoot that many schoolmasters, but the day has been a little bit slow, and I like trying things that are different. Apparently this triggerfish also thought my fish looked tasty. to use a double wrap setup with my shooting line. This gives me a little bit more range when I'm hunting bigger fish. I have a lot of questions asking me where you should go to get new bands on your gun or to get your shooting line replaced. And the only place that I recommend in South Florida is Nautilus Dive Shop in Miami.
The yellow jack is one of my very favorite fish to shoot. Not only is it super delicious and super versatile, but also it's very, very easy to clean, which is nice at the end of a long day. I always bring my fish to the surface quickly to avoid attracting sharks. The struggling fish is the number one thing that will bring in big predators. Next, I remove the shaft and insert it directly into the brain to quickly and humanely dispatch the fish. Definitely don't want anything to have to suffer. Luck has definitely turned around for this day. This is one of my very favorite things to eat in the ocean, the spider crab. Oh my god, he's so strong. Aww. Well, do you want to just grab his body and put him on the boat? Or just hold his arms? But he's pretty strong. Alright, we got something special today. This is a spider crab. I've actually only gotten, I think, two or three of them here in the States. They're pretty common in the Bahamas. And honestly, this guy is like one of the most delicious things in the ocean. Um, when you catch them, you can break off the claws. I wasn't able to because I couldn't get them out of the rock, but all of this is full of meat. Super, super delicious. They have like a crazy hard shell though. So actually the way to do it is to wrap it up in some paper towel after you cook it. Just steam it like you would a lobster, like you would a crab. Wrap the claws in like a paper towel, put it in your plastic Ziploc bag, whack it a couple times with a hammer. Like these guys, solid. You're not gonna get it open otherwise, so. That's how you eat it. Put it in some butter, some garlic. Yum. <laughs> With plenty of dinner secure, Mercedes and I decided to jump in the water for a little snorkeling. I never get tired of just exploring the reef and seeing all of the beautiful life. Look at how wild he is. Do you want to hold him? It wasn't long before I spotted another treasure. Look at this that I found. This is a stick for getting lobsters. This is a tickle stick for lobsters that I just found. Yeah, dude, literally all of my lobster gear I found. I found my snare, I found my bag, I found my tickle stick, I found my gauge. Yeah, that's like brand new too. Nice! We were pretty tired after the long days, so we decided to relax and let our crab drive us home. Thank you all so much for following along, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for commenting. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the fishing. Even though we didn't catch much on Rod and Reel, I still enjoyed it. I think I just need to get some better equipment out there. So I appreciate any of your tips on that as well. And lastly, before I share the catch and cook portion of this video, I just want to remind everybody to follow your dreams, follow your passions, do what you love. That's what this life is all about.
I've been pacing my pace in a kamikaze. I've been making my makers say what I'm offering. We've all had behaviors and they've troubling. Smoke way too much, I keep coughing. I pull out all the stops to make a profit. When I get down to the bottom, I need topping. Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin. Let me chug this thing and be proud of it. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you own the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor. When I'm on the force, when you use the force, there's no problem. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor. When I'm on the force, when you use the force, there's no problem. When I'm with you, I'm holier than Jesus. Religious freedom, paid leave to get on my knees and pray to you if you're cool with cosplay and teacher. I don't mean to come across facetious, but it's all a joke to me and it should be to all of these. Sometimes I think it's the only way to stay decent. When the wind blowing that way, we ought to pray the breezes. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you're on the cloud and you can't sit still when we